police officer arrested, accused of killing a seven month old puppy. This morning, Baltimore police officer Alec Taylor turned himself into Montgomery County authorities. Our Montgomery County reporter Kevin Lewis is live outside the officer's Silver Spring apartment with the disturbing details on this one. Kevin. Well, kind of just late this afternoon, Taylor bonded out of jail and only minutes ago, a taxi cab dropped him off in this parking lot. The officer of five years on suspension without pay tonight, and he's facing two counts of felony animal abuse and neglect for allegedly killing his puppy and then placing it in that dumpster. It's the ultimate about face for Baltimore City Police Officer Alec Taylor, arrested for the strangulation of his Jack Russell Terrier named Rocco. Police officers don't do such things. They're the ones supposed to be trying to solve the crimes, not committing them. Last Wednesday, investigators say Taylor walked into his Silver Spring apartment where Rocco, an unhoused trained puppy, had relieved himself on the carpet. Enraged, the patrolman allegedly beat and choked the puppy before dumping its body in a parking lot dumpster. Using that mop and using his hands to choke that dog until that dog was obviously dead, I don't think the dog stood a chance. Detectives tell ABC7 Taylor texted his girlfriend about losing his cool. Upset, she retrieved Rocco's body, burying him at a Hyattsville park. I think he should be put in jail for a long time. Today, anger at Taylor's apartment complex, which welcomes pets. I feel like animals are no different than, than children. They're, they're helpless and they depend on us for everything. If I have seen him outside walking the dog. Andre Weaver lives next door. Uh, yeah, that's shocking news for uh, right over here. <sighs> mm. Now, detectives say Taylor admitted to killing the Jack Russell Terrier, saying he was sick and tired of picking up after him. A necropsy, which is essentially an autopsy performed on dogs, found little Rocco died from blunt force trauma. We're live tonight from the Montgomery County Mobile Newsroom in Silver Spring. I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News.